this is a simplified depiction of the course of the facial nerve uh, facial nerve or the seventh nerve also known as the nervous facialis it arises from the pons basically it has four nuclei this is the nucleus of tractus solitarius this is the motor nuclei or the brachiomotor nuclei this is the salivatory lacrimatory nucleus this is uh, these are two nuclei and i have shown them as combined salivatory nuclei uh, and the lac uh, lacrimatory nuclei now the facial nerve arises from the pontomedullary junction this is the pons and this is the medulla it arises from the pontomedullary junction and it is attached uh, to this inferior border of the pons by two roots the sensory and the motor root and the motor root arises from the motor nuclei and the sensory root arises from the nucleus tractus solitarius and the salivatory lacrimatory nuclei and uh, when it arises from the lower border of the pons it arises just medial to the uh, origin of the eighth nerve that is the vestibular cochlear nerve now the uh, basic outlay of the uh, facial nerve is that that it has, it, the, its course is divided into four parts uh, talking about the first first part uh, this is the intracranial part which runs from its origin up till its entry into the internal acoustic meatus and this is approximately 15 millimeters and uh, the second part it is the intratemporal part which is further divided into many parts now the intratemporal part uh, basically start, uh, starts uh, when the nerve enters the internal acoustic meatus the nerve enters the internal acoustic meatus along with the vestibular cochlear nerve and uh, then it travels inside the internal acoustic canal this is known as the intracanalicular part then it reaches up till the geniculate ganglion now this geniculate ganglion is also known as the genu of the facial nerve uh, where the facial nerve turns posteriorly in the medial wall of the middle ear now in this uh, genu the facial nerves facial nerve gives uh, the fibers for the lacrimatory gland now this is known as the superficial greater superficial petrosal nerve from its origin in from this genicular ganglion these fibers turn up into the middle cranial fossa and then they pass they pass through the foramen laserum this is the foramen laserum and they move forward they relay into the pterygopalatine ganglion this is the ganglion for these nerve fibers then the postganglionic fibers arise and then they supply the lacrimatory gland it's also supplied uh, some nasal glands and some palatine glands Continu continuing to its original course the facial nerve then runs posteriorly it turns posteriorly and runs in the medial wall of the middle ear inside the bony canal that's why i have shown this as a dotted uh, line uh, it turns posteriorly this is the vertical segment and then it uh, turns on the posterior wall of the middle ear this is the middle ear cavity it's like a cube then on the posterior wall of the middle ear this is the horizontal segment of the facial nerve uh, this is very important um, because the facial nerve here gives two branches the first is the nerve to the stapedius this supplies the stapedial muscle and uh, the purpose of this nerve is that the stapedial muscle stabilizes the stapes and uh, which prevents the uh, hyper movement of the stapes and paralysis of this nerve leads to hyperacusis now the uh, another nerve uh, that the facial nerve gives in this segment is the cauda tympani branch now this branch runs in the middle ear cavity and then it exits the middle ear cavity through the petro tympanic fissure here and then it joins the lingual nerve this lingual nerve is basically the branch of the mandibular nerve which in turn is a branch of trigeminal nerve this runs forward and then it divides from the lingual nerve and its fibers relay into the submandibular ganglion and from the submandibular ganglion the postganglionic fibers arise and uh, they supply the submandibular and the sublingual salivary glands now this nerve is also the uh, cauda tympani branch but uh, it travels along the lingual nerve this branch uh, basically brings the taste sensations from the anterior to third of the tongue this relays along with the lingual nerve into the trigeminal nuclei uh, continuing to its original course the facial nerve then runs downwards and exits the middle ear from the stylomastoid foramen here now after exiting through the stylomastoid foramen this part 
is known as the extracranial part up till the its uh, division into the main branches now this uh, after exiting through the stylomastoid foramen the facial nerve gives here three branches the first is the posterior auricular branch the second uh, is the nerve to the posterior belly of the digastric and uh, third is the stylomastoid foramen stylomastoid muscle to the stylomastoid muscle these are the muscles which are derived from the second brachial arch then the original trunk of the facial nerve uh, moves forward and it enters into the substance of the parotid gland the facial nerve in the parotid gland lies between the uh, the, su uh, the superficial and the deep part of the uh, parotid gland here the facial nerve divides into its main five branches this is the temporal branch this is the zygomatic branch this is the buccal branch this is the mandibular branch and this is the cervical branch and uh, these branches supply the uh, muscles of the facial expression and hence the course terminates here thank you guys for watching my video please subscribe to my channel for further updates